I am here with uh, head coach of your Tarleton State, Texas, or a little bit of ways on the Zoom, a 17-14 to 14 win over MSU Texas on homecoming. And let's start off, Coach, uh, just get your overall thoughts on a, a hard-fought game and a hard-fought win. Yeah, well, uh, uh, getting a win at homecoming is, uh, you know, just to me one of the uh, uh, cornerstones of your program every year, one of the things, one of your goals. And so uh, we we're very thankful to get out of here with a win. We beat a good football team. Uh, I, I would bet they're going to be the Lone Star Conference champs. Uh, they're much improved from a year ago. So, uh, you know, hats off to Midwestern. Billy Maskell is one of the best coaches in the country. His teams are always ready, always hard to beat. Um, you know, we kind of made plays when we had to on offense. I thought we had a good a good game on the defensive side of the ball, and I thought we were just absolutely outstanding in the kick game. So, um, and, and we, we've really been that way all year long. Uh, so, um, we missed a few field goals here and there, but, but our, our special teams units have just been outstanding. Uh, you mentioned uh, the homecoming and how big of a, a part that is. Tonight we set a uh, Tarleton State University record, 16,216. Was it uh, nice to be back at home and, and hear the fans cheering after a couple of games uh, away from Memorial Stadium? Yeah, there's no question. Um, the last time we lost a homecoming game here was in 2016. And uh, I, I was thinking about that today. Boy, how things have changed. And... Um, um, and you know just all of the all of the really exciting things that are going on with with game day and, and all of our tailgating and, and um, but you know our seniors uh, this senior class those kids that came in six years ago they're five and one on homecoming uh, it's something as a staff that we really talk about and so uh, we work very hard to win every game we ever play but homecoming is one of those things that ought to happen right that when when, when all of your family and friends are back in town to watch us play. Devin Hafford uh, made some big plays again tonight. He is, you know, I think uh, we brought him on the show, the, the radio show, and I mentioned on the show that, hey, it had been like a 1,000 days since he got an interception. Well, heck, he's – after that, he's kind of got it going. He's got two more tonight, now six on the season. It, it's nice to play with a guy that, that just has a nose for a ball like that, isn't it? Yeah, he's one of the all-time Charlton great players. He's a Hall of Famer here. There's – there's no question about that. Um, uh, you know, he's a big part of turning this program around. Um, when we got here six years ago, we were last in the United States in offense. We gave up 50 points a game and 500 yards. He got out there as a true freshman and started playing and, and never looked back. We had the one setback uh, when he broke his ankle. But uh, he's, one of the, he's one of the best that's ever put on a Charleston uniform. Same story, I guess, for the next guy I'm going to mention, Ronnell Wilson with 12 more tackles tonight. He gets to second all-time in tackles uh, behind Tally Neal, who's got like 600 and something. But he's been another game changer for you defensively since he came here. Yeah, there's no question. To me, Ronnell's another uh, future Hall of Famer here at, at, at uh, Tarleton. And that's one of the things that sort of, as a coach, when you see these kids get in the transfer portal, First time something goes wrong, they they sack their bats and transfer, and and uh, but that's one of the things you forfeit. I think when you do that is a chance to go down in history. Your university is one of the best, one of the best players, and so uh, uh, very thankful that both of those two guys have, have been here through thick and thin. We've had a lot of good days with those with those two young men, and just couldn't be more proud of them. You know, looking on the offensive side, you had some success running the ball early in the game, but you had you struggled a little bit throwing it. Then you got two big passes, really three passes to start that that one scoring drive. And we'll start off. I want to talk a little bit about Stephen Duncan. Had a really good game last week, and the numbers don't really stick out, right? He's 15 to 23, 146 yards and two touchdowns. But it looked like to me he's really starting to get a feel for the offense and what you guys want to do. And I thought, even though the numbers don't jump out, it seemed to me he was very efficient tonight. Did you feel that way? Yeah, there's no question. Um, you know, I think he managed the game well. Uh, we're not a, an offense that can go out there and throw it 40 or 50 times a game uh, and, and, and play well. Uh, we've, got to, we've got to stay balanced. Um, and, and when we do stay balanced, when we can run it a bit, uh, that's going to help Stephen, help our quarterback play. Uh, we only took about 24 five snaps in the first half. I don't know if y'all were aware of that. So they had about 40 snaps, I think. So 
Um, we had, well, I tell you, we had some bad field position too uh, at different times. Seems like more tonight than in other games. But um, I'm telling you, this Midwestern team is a is a is a really good football team. And uh, you know, I, I may be wrong, but I think they're they're a Division two playoff team. Certainly, certainly a top twenty. I think they're ranked nineteenth in the country right now. So. That, that's a quality win for us. I know that. I've been doing this a long time. So I'm really proud of our guys. Jeff Thomas was out tonight. He made a big impact in the game last week. You had some other guys step up offensively in the skill positions. Max Maxfield with two touchdowns. Uh, and then you also had Gabe Douglas, who I thought came in and, and played well and had some big plays, whether it was the 47-yard catch or the, uh, the pass interference that he got later on in the game. He kind of helped you guys take the top off, it seemed like, you had to get some of those plays uh, from some guys that we may not have talked about a lot. They did that tonight. How big was that for you? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, you know, JF's uh, been injured a little bit here and there. And so when he's full speed, he's really, really good. Um, he was concussed out of Dixie last week. And um, so he missed tonight. But for Gay, and we, you know, thank goodness we got Gay back. And I thought he, he went in and did a really nice job. Uh, Gay's got a lot of talent. And uh, uh, he broke his ribs back six weeks ago. So uh, oftentimes that's a hard injury to come back from. And so uh, we're, we're very thankful to have him tonight and then on down the, the stretch there. So, um, you know, um, we, we have – we've lost several close games. Uh, and so uh, it's, it's, uh, it's good to hang in there and to get these plays made late. You know, we, we had some adversity there late, and we battled through that. And so, um, you know, really, really a good a good team effort. That's a, that's a quality win for us. I want to ask you a couple, couple more questions. One about your punter, Jake Walrath. How big was the play there towards the end of the game? You're trying to uh, – you, you try to run out the clock, and then you're going to give it to them one more time, and he gets one down. I think Donovan Banks was the guy that got it on the one-yard line, but you can't ask for any more from a punter who's averaged 43 yards per punt coming into this game. And, and that's a huge play. That's as big as a, a big runner is a big pass, isn't it? Oh, no doubt. Yeah, that was, a, that was a big play. He's done well all year. Uh, recovering the, the onside kick, uh, making the late field goal, uh, uh, kicking the ball out of the end zone consistently. They've got an All-American kick returner over there. I don't know if you remember a year ago, 17, taking that one the length of the field against us. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I thought it was just a real strong performance uh, from our special uh, teams. And so, um, yeah, that, but that late punt, yeah, that was as big a play as there was in the game. Finally, turn your attention. You've got the defending national champions coming in next week, Sam Houston State. What's it going to take as far as practice-wise and in the game next week to get ready for a team like that? Yeah, you know, uh, they're about as good as there is in the country. That's that's the truth of that. So we're going to have to have our best week of practice. Uh, we're going to have to uh, uh, play well. We got to, you know, all the things you got to do to to go and upset somebody. Um, uh, you got to play clean and take take care of the ball. Um, you know, limit big plays, but but maybe we got to have a really good solid week. And uh, uh, and I think our guys will do that. Our guys will be excited to play. Sam Houston, uh, defending national champs, number one in the country. And so uh, I can tell you I've seen them on film. Um, it'll, be the, it'll be the very best team that Tarleton's ever played. Um, I think uh, Eastern Kentucky and Stephen F. this year are two of the top three or four teams that we've ever played, uh, at least in, in, the, in the years that I'm, I'm, that I'm aware of. Sure. We played a really good Sam Houston team in 2001. Uh, when we our first conference championship, and they beat us about sixty to seventeen, um, and I believe they were conference champs. I believe in the in the Southland back in that particular year. But um, yeah, absolutely the best team Tarleton's ever played. So it's going to be a really good challenge for us, and uh, just and and more than anything, it's a great opportunity. And so to go out and show the world who Tarleton is. Well, we look forward to it. Congratulations on a big win tonight. Your team moves to four and three. Thank you for the time and get some rest. You got a big week this week. Thank you. Here with Devin Hafford after the game. And first off, Devin, uh, let's start off with your overall thoughts on the game. It seemed uh, 
pretty uh, pretty tough fight down there. You hold a really good MSU Texas team to only 14 points. They come into the game averaging 33 points. And uh, I just wanted to get your overall thoughts on the, on the game and, and how the defense will play tonight. Oh, it was a hard fought game on both sides of the ball. Uh, offense played good. Uh, I feel like we had a uh, both sides of the ball had a big challenge this week. I feel like it was an overall team team victory. Yeah, certainly uh, a really great game on both sides of the ball. Even special teams played well. Uh, you uh, you had some hard tasks uh, and picking up some. You, and you actually, we talked about it. You came on the radio show earlier this year. I don't know if you made mark of it, but it had been like, including your injury, I think I had said it had been over a 1,000 days since you got an interception. You've got six since then. Uh, are you doing anything different, or is this the ball coming your way a little bit more? At some point, these guys have, have got to know that when they say zero over on one side of the ball, they probably should throw the other way. How are you getting in front of all those passes, man? Uh, really just my defensive coach, Coach Patton, he just put me in position to make plays. Uh, I just uh, got to read the quarterback and you just got to read, uh, read his eyes, read, read the ball. Honestly, that's really it. Just had really a uh, powerful statement from your head coach just a couple of minutes ago after the victory. I asked him about you and about all the turnovers that you've got this year. And he said that he felt like Devin Hafford is one of the best players that there, has ever played here at Tarleton State University and that you will be a Hall of Famer one day here at Tarleton State. And I agree with him. What are your thoughts on that? Man, that's that's crazy to think about because there's been some greats here at Tarleton State. So I appreciate my coach for, for telling me that, uh, for telling you that. And I just got to stay humble and just keep on working. You get to play in front of a homecoming crowd, and it's always a big homecoming crowd. But tonight, over 16,000 people in the crowd for your Tarleton State Texans. Could you tell the difference? Could you feel the crowd uh, as the I game moved on? It was, it was a different atmosphere out there. I'm not going to lie. It, was, it felt really good to play in front of all those people like that. Yeah, it's fun to watch you do that. Let me ask you this. you got a big game coming up next week. I know you're probably going to put this one in your pocket and enjoy it for just one day, but you've got the defending national champions coming in next week. What do you need to do to get ready to play those guys? Well, I feel like we just keep on doing what we do. Take it one day at a time. Just keep on working. Uh, start Monday, Monday night. So all we got to do is keep on working every day this week. Well, really fun to watch you. You now have recovered either interception or forced or fumble recoveries, eight turnovers on the season. That's ridiculous. Congratulations on another great game, and thanks for taking a couple minutes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, thanks, Dev. Max Maxfield, welcome to the uh, post game show. And I'm going to be honest with you, Max. If I were to pick who I was going to talk to after the game, before the game, you probably wouldn't be that guy, a, uh, a player out of Amarillo, Texas. Let's first uh, really talk about those two plays. Now, now, I know that Tarleton tight ends a lot of times, you guys are doing a lot on the field in the running game and making a difference. You've been here now, what, three, four years? And uh, with, with, yeah. yeah, with, with COVID. Uh, and, and you haven't got to – these are your first two touchdowns as far as I can remember. Looking back, I couldn't find any more. Let's talk about those touchdowns. And uh, that first one is a 20-yarder back across the field. Can you just talk a little bit about that play and making the touchdown? Um, yeah, well, coming into the week, I knew I was going to get an opportunity. And uh, we ran these routes where we were going to attack them with two high safeties. And uh, we drilled it. Week over the week over the week, and uh, I knew if I got my opportunity, I was gonna make that play. And uh, want to thank you know my coaches, my family for the support team for you know always supporting me and, and working with me. And that's that's basically what it was was just practice and uh, digging deep. Well, being honest with me now, I imagine you've been here a couple of uh, you've been here a couple of years. How many times has coach told you going into the week that you're gonna get a chance to make those plays and you haven't got them because you ran the ball so well? <laughs> yeah. At some point, yeah. you got to start saying, oh, I don't know about this, but looks like he kept it going and uh, had trust in it. On that 19 yard touchdown, what did you see? It just looked like you made a look like you broke a tackle, too. Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, on that first one or second one? The first one. Yeah. Uh, well, I, like I said, I just saw that too high safety. And I knew once I got around the, uh, the linebacker, inside linebacker, I was going to bend it. And uh, Stephen Duncan, our quarterback, put it on me perfect. And just got just got in the end zone. That was it. 
talk, what about playing with Duncan? He's a he's a big guy. You also played with Ben Holmes, who's a you know legendary quarterback here. He'll go into the Hall of Fame one day. Duncan's kind of a different guy. He's not quite as mobile. He's got a big arm. What's it like playing with Stephen Duncan? It also kind of seems like he's starting to really get you know his feet stabilized in this offense. Well, he's amazing. You know, that's my bash brother, and uh, he's a great football player, and love him to death. Like I said, he he's been pushing me every practice, get better and keep working. I love him. What about that second touchdown? That one was uh, – the first one was a little bit longer, but the second one, that was huge in the second half. Can you tell us what went down on that play? Um, yeah, I knew uh, I knew I was going to get an opportunity for the ball when as soon as I got off the – Went inside the DN, released inside the DN. I saw the linebackers flow uh, to the right, so I knew I was open. And so I was just ready for the ball and working my way in the end zone. So if he threw it, I was there, and that's what happened. Well, it was fun to see you catch two touchdowns. You also got to play tonight in front of a record crowd at Tarleton State University, 16,216 fans. Did it feel different? You've had a lot of big games over the last couple of years. You've been in playoff games that we've hosted here. Did this game feel any different? You know, not really. Going into this game, I really wasn't I really wasn't that nervous. I was just, you know, enjoying the experience, you know. Coming off my of back surgery, you know, I didn't get to play in the spring. Yeah. So I just try, you know, my parents just tell me to take every moment in because, like, you never know, you know. Sure. So that's what I was really trying to do. And, and I love our fans. I love everyone that came out. I'm glad we got our 15K, you know, uh, sure. support system and – it, like I said, it was just it was fun to be out there with my brothers and in front of my fans and my family, and finally, you know, playing ball and having a good time. You get to you get the win tonight. Uh, you move to four and three, first time over uh, five hundred on the season for this group. But you got a big challenge coming in next week, Sam Houston State, the defending national champion. When you see something like that and a big game coming your way the next week, what what thoughts come to your mind, and, and what do you have to do to get ready for a game like that? Just uh, do what Coach Cole says. Dig a little deeper and just keep getting better. Um, we're real good at uh, playing up. You know, we, we'll match people's intensity. We got athletes. We got we got we got tools. So we just gotta have a great week of practice and and just go out there and ball out again. That's it. All right, buddy. Max Maxfield, two touchdowns for your Tarleton Texans. Appreciate you taking the time in. And hey, congratulations! Great game. Thank you. Appreciate it.